to Studio 7. I'm Bob West on YouTube West. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'd like to talk to you about a newer movie. This came out in um, 2016 and it's called Keeping Up with the Joneses. And it has a pretty good cast in it. It has Zach, I can't pronounce his name, but it's Galifianakis, um, John Hamm, Isla Fisher, and Gal Gadot. And Gal Gadot is your resident supermodel that's occasionally jumping into films now and is too pretty for words. So I'll leave it at that and let the rest of you girls and guys figure out how to really explain her. But amazingly enough, she can act. She doesn't have to act very much. She doesn't have a lot of lines. Mostly she just kind of walks around and looks really good, which seems appropriate. But she can act. She can put on a persona. She can do the intermingling exchanges with the words that's necessary to do to make a great movie and that's some of the things that I look for. Number one, I look for plot. I look to make sure that the plot keeps moving and keeps going all the way down the line. I make sure that the characters are developed, that you, you have no holes, you don't see through them, there's nothing missing, all their background is there for the plot to develop. Um, there's a little bit of action in it. I like it well filmed. I don't like what I call stupid lines or stupid repartee that you'll find in, oh, a movie with Melissa McCarthy, maybe, which is why I don't review Melissa McCarthy movies, um, because I've seen too many of them and they suck. And, you know, some of you might like them and I get that, but no matter who you put with her, I just, I just can't make it through one. Um, in this case, Keeping Up With The Joneses is about a couple that moves into the neighborhood and let's just say they disrupt things a lot. Now, our couple, Zach and um, Isla Fisher, are the normal couple. And of course, John Hamm and Gal Gadot are the unnormal couple moving into the block that's going to totally change their world, in my book, for the better. It's a wonderful movie. It makes you want to laugh your tail off. It keeps you interested in people all the way through it. It is a lot of fun. It's simple. But sometimes romantic comedies, which you could almost classify this, or an action film, which you could almost classify this as, they should be simple and fun. And this one's definitely it. Is this a 7 out of 7 movie? I don't think so. 6 out of 7, it's getting pretty close. 5 out of 7 for sure. So I'll give it 6 out of 7 because we definitely, my wife and I, when we watched it, laughed, laughed our ass off. Again, the movie is called Keeping Up with the Joneses. If it's on Netflix, you don't see anything else that interests you, go ahead and see it. It'll be worth your time. Thank you very much. For Studio 7, I'm Bob West on YouTube. West.